Hey, it's Ruben in the shop bringing you another haul video. Kind of a different day today. I had an auction pickup around noon. So I hit uh, one Salvation Army, two Salvation Armies, and an antique mall. So kind of all over the place. Wanted to show you what I got because I got some cool stuff. Let's check it out. I got a few pieces of clothing. First is this Ocean Pacific shirt, probably from the early 90s, oversized, big old pocket. It has OP here on the sleeve. Pretty plain though, 20, 25 bucks. I got this. It's Amon Amarth. It's a metal band. Didn't know anything about it. I thought it was interesting. It has an EU Stedman label. So it's probably from Europe. With the metal ones, I just buy them. Sometimes I get lucky and they're really good. Sometimes they're just $15, $20 things. This is kind of in the line of $15, $20. I'm going to ask $25. I don't see any for sale that have that graphic with that back. So we'll see. I paid $3 for it. I think I paid $3 for the OP. Paid 4 for this. It's a members only jacket. Plain gray. Um, size 40. There was a second there when the gray ones were doing really well because people were dressing like one of the characters from Stranger Things. And I guess he wore a gray members only jacket. Still, probably a $25 thing. It's a classic. And then I found this. This is Gecko Hawaii t-shirt. I found this in the women's section. I always check both the men's and the women's. It has a really cool back to it. Deco Gecko, pink and neon, so awesome, single stitch, softies, paid three bucks, medium, and I got this, this is a Lisan um, loungewear, it's kind of like a house coat, house dress, it's quilted, has a velvet, piping just a cool thing um people ask some decent money for it i'm gonna go for forty dollars i'm gonna put this on ebay i'm gonna put it on etsy i'm gonna put it on poshmark i'm gonna put it on macari and i might even put it on depop so cool vintage from the 60s let me show you the label real quick oh he's saying distinctive loungewear it was six bucks so there you go. Here's what's good. We'll start with this. It's, um, as it says, set of three tourist paintings. Probably from Africa. Uh, I thought they had a really cool mid-century modern look to them. This Alenga artist. I saw a little bit about them in my research. Uh, attributed to Nigeria. So, they're cool. Hunting scenes. 30 bucks. Uh, this booth was 40% off. So that puts it at 18. I'll probably sell these individually. So I have $6 into them. So I'll shoot for 60 to 75 a piece. Put them on eBay, Etsy, and Macari. See what happens. Next is this piece of tile art. Um, paid $6 for it at auction. No signature, nothing on the back identifying it. So going purely off of the look, I like this part of it. Um, I am hoping for $40, $50. I'm just kind of throwing a number at it. Next is this Hemez uh, Rattle. This is a gourd attached to the stick. Hemez on the back. Uh, it was priced at $30. Again, this was 40% off of that, so I paid $18. Uh, when I did the research in the shop, I didn't see as many of these rattles for sale. I'm thinking I'm going to get... I'm going to ask like $120, because they're not that common, but I don't know how desired they are. This isn't that old. It's probably from the 90s or newer, um, but it is cool that it's this raccoon. Or mouse. So, see if we can get 120 for that. Next is this. Um, this is a leather hippopotamus from Africa. 
I think they come out of Kenya. Um, I thought I bought this already at the Salvation Army, but when I got to the shop, it wasn't with any of my stuff. And then when I walked in today, I saw it again. I was like, hmm, I guess I'm buying it twice. Or maybe I didn't buy it last time. Maybe I left it on the counter on accident. It does look like it has damage to the tail still. I think that's about a $50 thing. Got some media at the Salvation Army. This is good. Um, Peanuts classic holiday set. So it has the Thanksgiving, the Christmas, and the Halloween. I guess Peanuts isn't going to be on TV this year. I don't know if one of the streaming services bought the rights. So uh, this is going for like 30 bucks right now. So nice find. The discs themselves are in great shape. I bought this just because it was still new. The Gauntlet, Cleet Eastwood. Same story here. And also here, Tora Tora Tora, Steeled Special Edition. This one had some crazy high comps on it. Um, I almost always buy the UK BBC DVD sets. They seem to do okay for me. Here's another one. This is Broadchurch. I think it's a BBC uh, television show, but this is all in German, which is interesting. We'll give that a go. And then I saw this just sitting on the shelf. It's not worth a ton of money, but it's an easy list and hopefully it will sell. I'm thinking eight bucks, maybe free shipping. Most of the media I do free shipping on just because I consider it like a commodity item. So there are plenty of them out there and I'm trying to compete but almost everything else I charge shipping for. This is really cool. This came out of an estate. Um, there was like a three-day estate auction. I just missed it. I only had a few bids in. This is a collection of slides, glass slides from Guatemala. So they're like the ruins of the Mayan Empire. So this is super cool. This is going into a personal collection. Um, possibly a gift. Look at that one. So, really interested to go through these. They're glass. They're extremely fragile. They're probably 80 to 100 years old. So, excited about that. I got this guy at the antique mall. It's 15 bucks. It's wood. It's carved. It's marked on the bottom, handcrafted, Lino R. So I'll do some research on it. Has a good size to them. Uh, the arms being out is pretty good. He might have at one time held something here because that's like unfinished. So we're going to try to sell them. I'll probably ask mid 100, 150 and see where it goes. I saw this from across the room. It was at the antique mall. When I saw it, I was like, oh, someone kind of took a Fiesta design for the bowl and printed something. I thought it would be from like Target or Walmart. Turns out it is Fiesta wear. Um, so I didn't know they did that. Really cool thing. Halloween is past, but it will always sell. Paid $5 for it. They sell for $40 free shipping. So that's what I'm going to go for. Next is this. I got this at the auction too. Um, it was $8. It's a Sasha Brostoff. Um, that's the designer and painter. Um, I've bought maybe five, six, seven pieces of Brostoff over the years. I remember the first time I found one of his pieces, I was pretty excited about it. Um, I might still have it actually. Uh, very prolific designer um, sometimes there's that marking that I just showed other times it just says Sasha somewhere in the design this and they really sell for what you price them at as long as it's within reason so in 2019 a very similar vase sold for $25 and then in 2020 a very similar vase sold for uh, $85 I believe 80 so it's really a matter of giving people the opportunity to spend their money. So I am going to price that at $80, $90 and see if I get an offer and let it go. 
Next is this. I am a big, big fan of Van Briggle pottery. I think it's the art pottery I like the most. It's in Colorado Springs. I'm in New Mexico, so I have an opportunity to find this stuff. This comes out of one of my favorite booths. They're usually a little priced up. Uh, as you can see, it was $45. Today, this booth was on sale for 30% off, which was exciting when I saw that because they had a Chamayo wool vest that I wanted to buy for a long time. And I was waiting for them to have a sale. But I was too late. The vest was gone. But I saw this on the table. Uh, almost all the Van Briggle pieces I buy, I get from this one booth. This is called a console vase. And that piece inside there, it is taped to it. But I just take the tape off. This is called a frog. And it's used for positioning the flowers so you would put the stems in the different spots um, marked on the bottom Van Briggle Colorado Springs so really cool color to it I think the Van Briggle market is down right now um, there's one of these a red one up for auction it's only at like 30 bucks I might even step in and buy that if it stays at 30 bucks, I see other ones that are similar to this that are listed at like 145 to 250. So I'll probably list mine for 180. If it sticks around, I'm fine with that. If it sells, then yeah. So that's all the stuff. Um, pretty fun day of buying. Now I'm gonna get it listed online. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Talk again soon.